totally right. <laughs> Wait, reincarnate Grand Assembly? Oh, is it? Oh. Blast him. I couldn't? Um, maybe it he did... died here or something? I, let's... Go to the, yeah, go to the, oh shit, that's the... Sarupa, maybe? Yeah, get, get info. All right, uh... A dark being who roams the world, bearing the promise of immortality, he manifests with the face of those oh. who are willing to sacrifice themselves. Fascinating. Uh, great. So, Ghosts has happened. Is that does that does that mean that that was important? I think that's why I can have some completion. We have to find out little weird little ghosts. Um, all right. Through. Well, oh God, so is this an act? I would assume this is Act One, if this is an act. Which you know, by the way, don't. Fascinating. <laughs> oh, we were on vacation. Oh, that's what was happening. So we're all on vacation with the teacher, and us. That that might be like I don't know, like different different places. That might be kind of a thing. Ooh. This town is as monotonous as it appeared to be. Apparently, they got their own designated holiday. There was a lavish festival with vibrant music, dancing, and plenty of food to go around. Everyone seemed to be enjoying themselves. It was pretty incredible. However, one thing really grinds my gears. During the ritual with animal <laughs> sacrifice, I could have sworn I heard screaming, possibly from the animal. Though, I can't really be sure. What well, with all the loud trumpets and drums, I probably just imagined it. No one seemed to notice anyway. Mm. Ah. Mm. Ah, digital style. <laughs> How many of those videos are there? Like six? There's like six. Did they did they improve or did they was it more like if you just kinda want more of it, here's some more of it? Uh the songs are different. They have some fun different songs. I don't really fully understand it. You have to watch like the video essay where it gets explained to you. Because oh, I don't have the time and energy in my life to sit down and watch all that. Ooh, what's in that door? Wait, how did we not unlock that earlier? We didn't we didn't investigate very well before. Are we on the other wing right now? In the other wing? I think we are. Yeah. What have it? We were, we're going through. Oh, this place is a thing where it's definitely a ghost. <laughs> it's definitely something that's going to scare. Ah! <laughs> the true terror of bohemian jewelry. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, look at the ring. That's uniquely what you're not supposed to do, Chaz. What? Look at the ring? Yeah, look at the ring. It's in your inventory. The story item. Uh, it's flowing with mystical oh, energy. Mystical energy. Oh, until now I know exactly what to do with it. Yeah, you have to. Now, do we have any clues about rituals? Because one thing I've learned about playing um, Southeast Asian horror games is that we usually need to complete some sort of a ritual. <laughs> okay. Well, you better you better bet your bell bottoms that we're going to complete a ritual. Does it? Can we kill the pig now? I don't know. Maybe. Let's go try and kill the pig. Okay. Because I'm I'm fairly sure. I feel like that's what we need to do. Right, the way that it runs away. And I guess we'll try to do the same thing where we try to cut it off, but I, I don't even think that's what that is. Like, you were using good game logic when you were like, oh, we unlocked the shortcut, which lets us cut it off so we can... Oh, there it is. Take a big old thing of it. Wow, it, it was just kind of busting along. It's um, a trotting. Kind of like that bus that tried to kill you earlier today. Oh man, it really tried. Uh, but was unsuccessful. Sorry, I shouldn't, I shouldn't reference traumatic memories like that. That's okay. A, cor a cornered fox is more dangerous than a jackal. <laughs> and that's what this pig shall soon find out. <laughs> okay, buddy. My dude, come on. <laughs> I got tired or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's trying so hard, you All can right, hear it. Blast it. That no, it's the next one. That's our pig! There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think this ring's gonna do it, Chaz. I think we need one more thing. Okay. We'll try it. I'll try to do it a little bit earlier than I did last time. Uh, maybe just machine gun set it, because I think there's enough... Di yeah, that's pretty quick. And I'll walk backwards, too. Dang it. Okay, uh, I guess I was wrong. Alright, so we got the ring. Now we need okay. to... Okay, so we have a ring. Okay, you... Was there any, like, spectral brides around or anything? <laughs> oh, also, was there vignetting when we were over near... Uh, the pig hive? Like item vignetting? That's a good question. Let's go see if we item vignette. Your right, because it might be a thing where it's like, oh, I want you to feed it. You need to then search around. Maybe we just uh, weren't good searching before, because now we have learned the clue about the weird blue stuff. Yes, the Ooh, clue. I think we're seeing some vignetting. I can't tell because there's so many filters going on at any <laughs> given time. <laughs> there's a lot. 
It is a lot. There, there was there, there, but wait, there wasn't vignetting for the ring, was there? Yeah, there was. Oh, it was, was just we happened to be like in a really weird little small area. Okay, so maybe it just directly above us, perhaps. Because like I see it, it's right there. Well, the vignetting, I mean. Okay, well let's run away. Dude, what about I, in that room? No, no, I'm just. Should we try opening that door that's not open? Sure, we'll try that. I, I, I'm just looking at the vignetting. I think the vignetting's always there. It just turns blue or not. Is this the desk that's near the pig? Someone, someone in one of the forums was like, uncommon. "Hey, I found that. I found. Never mind. I found it out." And my question is, but we need the figure in the ring first. I recall that. Uh, okay. So wherever the figure is, once we have that, I guess we'll just really double check that we got every door. Just follow. Right, look for the blue. Yeah, all right. Search for the blue. Uh, uh, the search for blue is actually um, the. Uh, I can't think of anything. Well, I funny. think we'd see it by this point, right? This this looks stronger. That's some stronger. Oh wait, that's just the pig that's to my left, though. Oh fuck! Don't want to. Ah, that's hmm. bad. Hmm. I wish I wasn't such a bad person. Well, we all wish that. That that I wasn't such a bad person. Yes. <laughs> Can we get into the other side of that? Any ghosts in there? No ghosties. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I hear that pig milling about. It's not that it, like, scares me or bothers me. It's you just don't want it to, like, run up on you. Yeah, because I'd be upset if I was trampled. And I, I'd say, sure. I'd say that about real life, too. That's true. Yeah. That's one of the, that's on, uh, Tony's, like, top five dislikes. <laughs> Being trampled. Yeah. Uh, Chaz, can you list off my other uh, top four? Uh, not squandering things. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's number two, by the way. Number two. Uh, I've been there. Um, <laughs> other things. That you dislike. Come on, I told you this the other day while we were... Uh, vegetables. Yes, vegetables. Well, okay, look. I, I was at the store this morning because I work canceled and I was like, well, I'm out anyway. So I might as well use this blizzard to walk, to go to the store, get some groceries, and then force myself to walk home with my hand out holding a paper bag so it gets really, really cold. I'm so tuckered out. Well, was it even that cold today? It was weird. It was a weird day. Were you walking around this morning? No, well, I did have to get all the snow off my car to drive here. To, to risk my life driving here. You're welcome. <laughs> um, okay, maybe the other staircase? Yeah. Uh, did we... Look at that. Look at the blue. Okay. Is that... School exit is locked. Is that... Does it go away there? Oh, what's that thing? What? What's that thing? What? Why? What? Why did the objective just update? What files? Oh God, Lindy's notes. Somehow the extra can't be unlocked, but it seems like the only way out. There are keys dangling on the neck of a hideous boar beast. There should be a way to cut them loose. Oh, that's why we even care about the boar. So there's keys on its neck. Now, okay. So that that seems to indicate the door. Oh, okay, that's the door. That, that vignette. I see. I see. It's an interactable door. Yeah, it's let's, a gettable door. Let's go upstairs, I guess. Yeah, but on this side, I, right? Well, oh, well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, honestly, I'd say it's not. So I think it's telling us now that we have to fight it. Right? Did we go through here? Uh, we did go through here. I, I'm just going to, before we... Is this the main route? Before we bore it at all, I'm just going to make sure that we got every damn door. Oh, fucking cheat. EDD. Or Ed, for short. Like, oh, I thought that was a closed door. I almost blamed myself. Uh, like, I don't think we went this way, actually. Oh, you can hear me pant. Oh. Oh, see, that's an item. Oh, yes. Do we just, like, not have this door open or something? Come on, buddy. Oh. Oh. A local high school student was taken by surprise yesterday as a whole classroom of students suddenly entered a state of trance. At 10 a.m., a Miss Astrid was teaching geography <laughs> to her class. A few students screamed and kicked their desk. A minute later, every student in the class was screaming and acting erratically. She called for help immediately after they began speaking in tongues. Oh, shit. The school headmaster has announced that the incident was, in fact, a mass possession of the students by supernatural beings. Oh. The whole class of 2A was freely taken to the nearest public infirmary for treatment. A local medical team treated the students while a professional witch doctor performed an exorcism. I wouldn't what? say that all the students regained consciousness simultaneously at 3 p.m. So mm. It's a professional witch doctor. Just, you know, like, stand back. I'm a professional. <laughs> 
It's okay, I'm here. I'm the witch doctor. Oh, I'm the local witch doctor. I only have the highest state of professionalism. I mean, it's a board okay, certified. Okay, this is new. This is great. That's creepy. It's cafeteria. Yeah, this is, isn't it? It is. Okay. Hey, it's a ghost. Oh, this is the back one. Is it? I think so. I don't know about that. It's Oh, she's eating. She's so hungry! Oh no! Oh, but she's hungry forever because she was too greedy in life. 20 bucks, that's the backstory. Dude, we, we saw this same damn ghost in Hungry Ghosts, I swear. Oh man, I hope... Okay, well, let's go over there. Fair enough. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, I guess we leave and go to that other door? I guess so. Haunted, haunted and undeath by the lack of table manners. <laughs> Eat with your mouth closed, kids. It's true. He'll become a ghost, cursed to wander this earth for eternity. Imagine how I'd be pissed if I got to the like heaven's pearly gates like, or whatever. Nah, you didn't say excuse me. <laughs> Remember that one time you belched in front of your grandma? That was pretty bad. So yeah, I feel like I'm getting more vignetting in here, but not blue vignetting. I still don't think there was a vignetting for that ring that we got earlier. I think, I feel like there was. <sighs> okay, well, let's try and go get the pig again. Might have just been locked behind some Doo -doo. stuff and getting a little upset about this the longer I think about it. Mm. How did we even end up up there? I guess from the other side, that's how we got up there. Okay. I hear that this game is fairly short. <sighs> go to the second floor. Going to the second floor. There are some times where we're, we're playing a game, and then you or Mal, usually one of the two of you, Fiona and I, for some reason, haven't played too many games where we have to cheat. Uh, there'll be this moment where I just hear a, and I'm like, great, Chaz figured out where we need to go. So then follow this way. Yep. Keep going. That's the cat. That's the cat. Keep going past the cat. Past the cat. Past the cat. PTC. Oh, because we didn't actually follow this around. Yeah, follow the cat. Following the cat. Also, you didn't you didn't go through any of these areas. I know. This is an unnoted area. There's a ghost right there. There's a heads up. Uh, I, know I know you're in here. You'll never take my baby. Never. It's just spooky music. No, there's like through there, I think. Yeah, just go in there. Fuck it. Uh, I think it's spooky. No, go in there. You're, I'm, you're I'm going to. You're going further away from where we need to go. I'm going to go in there. You can't stop me from going in there, chat. That's only I can stop me, apparently. Uh, Here we go. All right. Hope I don't fight a ghost. Hope there's not a big spooky ghost. This music is kind of creepy. Oh, this ghost is going to totally get me, and I hate it. Fuck. I'm going to die. Oh, that's a graphic. Ooh, look at that. Whoa. That, uh... Yeah, try pushing items. Yeah, okay. All right. Ah! You have to, you have to hold A. Wait, the closet, oh, the closet door, door is locked. locked. Okay. Oh, I'll right. bet that's what the keys are actually for. So we'll need keys to the closet door. For some reason. Oh, Step now I've unlocked this. Which was locked earlier. Neat. Now follow the cat. Uh, let me unlock this first. Okay, I should go out there. Oh. Okay, now go to your left. Okay, I'm going Over to my left. Now pull out your camera. Uh, now do the thing that I said before. Oh, but you were totally right. I was so right. I'm so smart. No, you go way more to the right. See, there's like two lines right there that line up. The two lines that line up. Like kind of right because like the the two the two standing logs with the white on the left and the other thing on the right. So like right around here. Yeah. Yeah, it's people people dancing. See. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah. Ugh, so creepy. I but the see you have to there you go. There's something about this picture. Oh nasty. So there's keys. Okay, great. Okay. Wait, I, sorry, I wanna take a look at that. That's not document, is it? I'm gonna Okay. So there's keys in a desk. Do you remember where this is? It's a chain door. I think this I think that's by where the uh I think that that's near the pig. Oh, but it's it's like a oh it's like the secret roll of film that gets you the the magnum. Yeah, or exactly. SMG it doesn't exist until we've 
done the thing. Okay. But also, I'll see where this cat if this cat leads somewhere. Because I'm curious if that cat doesn't give us some sort of a hint. <laughs> I'm going to take a lot of pictures of you. Cute little, cute little buddy. Um, I don't think it's gonna. I've gotten bored. Let's yeah, go. I, I don't. I'm not. I don't have time for this. This is a two and a half hour game, apparently. Hard left. Well, I think either would have worked, but it's fine. Oh think... well, this is slightly faster. You're right. Yes. Look, look at Chaz. Uh, Chaz is actually um, one of the top uh, speedrunners of this game. Mm, yeah. This way isn't gonna work, is it? Nope. I think this is a whole different way. <laughs> so let's. Uh, Although I'm intrigued by. Why we haven't seen this place before? Oh no, that's the cafeterium. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm just lost. <laughs> I'm just lost in this labyrinthine school. I feel like Lost wasn't even this complicated. That's oh, Lost true. was this complicated. I actually lost this way. Never forget how complicated Lost was. We have to push the button every single time before it reaches zero, or what happens? We it's called know. Faith John or oh, Faith whatever. Fuck, it was John Locke. It's so fucking stupid. No, no, John Locke was the one who had the faith, and he was explaining to the other guy. Oh, the doctor. Is that is that the bald guy that goes all crazy? John Locke's the bald guy. Yeah. I don't fucking know. It's well, that's okay. I'm here to tell Taz. I'm here to fill in any gaps you have in your memory. Okay, give me a quick lost. rundown of Lost. All right, so these guys are they appear on this island after they're is playing. That door openable. Uh, no, that's the exit, no, that's door, the exit door. door. They appear on this island after the plane crashes there, and it's like, oh, what's going on? Love triangles. What? And then there are these two badasses, but then eventually it's what like, wait, the there's three that, badasses. That fought in Desert Storm with Iraq. <sighs> Chaz, please don't get ahead of me. I'm sorry. And so John Locke's like, hey, I used to not be able to walk, but now I can walk. It's a miracle, isn't it? But he only reveals that, I think, later. I do recall that the writers confirmed that they were, in fact, not in Purgatory uh, when the first season came out. Is that true as of the end of the show, or did they lie? I think. I, Blast it. There, see, there's no way that they didn't lie is the thing. And so now... Oh, but the whole point is I can go to that desk now. Yeah, which, I, think it's, I think it's to your left over there. Yeah, because... Um, yeah, cause this is a... Yeah? Yes, I think this is it. Yeah, because the room was whole back when they hung themselves. By the way, that's what happened. We just didn't talk about it. It's creepy. It's not good. It's very sad. Uh, yeah. No, it was in there. Let's let's take a look. So See, it's just in there. We need to find the iron door. That was the iron door. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Where? Right over there. Uh, to your right, right. Straight. That's I think that's an iron door. That's the iron door. Oh, it's not. Never mind. I lied. So try to go closer to the. Closer to the pig. Yeah. It's like in here and to the left. Like this might be where the iron door was. I yeah. So like go forward and then look behind you. Maybe. Right. So like look behind you to the right. Hard right. Is that an iron door? Uh, it, yeah, hard to say. May have been an iron door at one point. Hmm. Mm, oh wait, no, we can't exit there. No, <laughs> that goes into that goes into the the abyss. <laughs> that goes into level two. <laughs> level two. Essentially two, the abyss. Two, it's two. it's weird to remember that all games have sky boxes. And the Statue of Liberty shows up or something and. Why is that there? The polar bear was just a complete fake out. What? The mist was oh. a monster created by the people, which was a metaphor, actually, I think. I don't... The guy died in the underwater th place, which was important for reasons. It was like, oh, the sacrifice. But really, he was like, I got to get off this show as fast as I can. Check the corners. Pay attention to where the boar comes from and goes. Is it's around that room. All right. Going back to the boar. Hey, I hope you're all enjoying our let's bore of, uh, in fact, a, a, a let's bore. So I think, I think we need oh. to, like, sneak around and get in behind it. The boar? Yeah. So, like, don't fight it here. It's so, like, run away. And then we'll sneak in behind it back into that room. Okay. All right. I, sure. <laughs> I mean, it's as good. Uh, I say the idea. My tickets to check around the corners, pay attention to where the boar comes from and goes as it's around in that room. Went into the room after the boar turned around on his round and found the small key. So, go in there now and, and try it. Like near where the boar. Yeah, in the in the boar zone. The Easy. the boar zone. What? Which once again is the proper name for our LPs. Welcome back, everyone, to the boar zone. My so name's like, Go near these guys. There we go. Fucking. Everything. So go to the closet, I guess now. I I'm guess. guessing. That's one of the two places that I can think of that oh, have been locked for sure. 
key obtained from the classroom. It has a little cat charm, so let's follow the cat. Great, which is on the other side of the building, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be, how was the backtracking? Oh, blast him. I, I can't, it's his butt. <laughs> it's the fastest way, okay? Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, oh boy. <laughs> we just had a little bit of a moment there. Because I'm telling you, you have to play through up to this point again, alone. <laughs> Because we don't, we haven't saved the game yet. Actually, uh, off camera, I was like, "Hey, do you want to play for a sec?" While I write down my show notes, and Chess was like, "No, no, I'm good. No, all right. I'll also save." Wait, save? Yeah. Oh. Is there a save system? Maybe there isn't. Let's carry on, I guess. Yeah, I think this game auto saves is what's going on. So this is either in the closet in that room upstairs or in the cafeteria. Was there a lock in the cafeteria? There was in the second door past let's, the cafeteria go check where we saw that ghost eating all that food. I'm so hungry. Oh, because it was locked and... Yeah, but now we have a key. Do you okay. know where that key goes? I don't fucking know. Somewhere. It's, it's unclear, but a bit. we have to fight a ghost. Well, who knows? It's not red yet, so let's let our guard down. That's true. I, I, tr I try to let my guard down at all times. It's true, based on the screaming that we've heard. Oh. It's just locked. And all right, so upstairs then. Upstairs we go. This game hasn't indicated that there's like a go to your inventory and use key system yet, but we haven't. But that doesn't disprove that we'll need to go into our inventory and use a key. <laughs> you know, just the problem about playing a game like this that's been let's played a lot. What's that? The screaming that's happening in the comments right now about how terrible we are at games. Uh, it's louder than ever. Oh, it's very loud. I forget which one it is. Um, keep going. It was like the big one, right? Is it? Was it here? E no, it was not here. We unlocked this. Okay. It was like down. Yeah, here we go. Hey, brother. It was in here. Which then way? Through there, then to the right? Uh, yeah, yeah okay. sure. Brr. It's a really Brr. scary. Oh, shit! Oh. Oh, neat. That's, Let's go in here. Kind of cool. Is there a spooky ritual zone? <gasps> spooky ri Oh! It's like a. It's a what do you call those? Just a mantle. A mantle? Or a lay. A lay. Ooh, lay. Wait. I haven't heard lay. Mm, okay, this actually is getting really spooky. I. Okay, let's go look at some of these little uh, uh, hairs that's been caught people's skulls. Hmm. Look at those. Let's go mess with all that. Mm, oh, they're missing eyes. Oh, I guess they're mannequins, so they shouldn't have eyes. <laughs> a little bit of insight into Tony there. All right, let's. Oh, is this where the baby is? My baby boy. Wait, there's a baby. Oh, there's a nasty running around. I don't know what that means. It's a nasty. You never seen Janet Jackson's nasty music video? It's good. No, you bring it up a lot though. Oh, it's because I like it. I'm a spooky baby. I've got some scissors. I'm going to cut your hair, cause I'm, I'm spooky. Ready for boss fight? Wait, really? Probably. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. That's... Blaster. Ah! Oh, run forward. Not behind you. Okay, keep blasting. Run forward. Oh, she's right there. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh. Not gonna lie, I feel a little underwhelmed so far. No, it's spooky ghost. Alright, run forward. Ah! <laughs> okay, take a picture of the child, maybe? Ouch. Okay, run forward. Take a picture of the child. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Oh no. Other than hopefully we didn't get set back too far. I also hope we didn't get set back too far. So what's this candle system you keep telling me about? Is he gonna, oh. is he gonna tell me to not do drugs? Probably. Because you're clearly on drugs based on how he's uh, I'm pretty underwhelmed. <laughs> underwhelmed by this ghost with, with scissors. Thank uh, you for purchasing a legit a copy, copy of, of Dread Out! Out. Wow, thanks God. Okay, I can only assume that that's the direct word of God. <laughs> Being like, thou hath done well in purchasing this game. I'd be a little pissed if I found myself running towards the light, and that's the Boss message. Fight. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, so my guess is either I need to kill... Maybe do damage to her and then interact with the baby? Went forward. Yeah, alright. Because now, now we're in that state. Okay, run forward. Okay, here behind. Interact the baby. Or grab uh, the hairs. I just really want to double check. Like, gr grab. Oh. No, you just have to. To survive for longer, maybe? Just take a second for the. Oh, sick combo. <laughs> Forward. Ah! <laughs> okay, so when it when it kind of lurches forward like that, that's when you have to. I think. Okay. Well. Yeah, I think that's. I think. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know either. <laughs> I'm because last time it just kind of stopped after a little bit. This is a boss fight. This is a boss fight. And you're pretty underwhelmed by it. I... <laughs> uh, Taz, there's some... I think you more than other people are willing to just point out my hypocrisies. <laughs> okay, this is... Oh, aim for the face, maybe. I guess so. Find you. Get out of there. Get out of there. It's fine. It'll disappear or something. Is it? Well. Oh. Well, we did it. Okay, that was a really unclear boss fight. <sighs> that's that's kind of as unclear as it gets. Actually, that's not true. I've played Frank Herbert's Dune. But... Actually, you know, Frank Herbert's I'm melting. Dune... melting! It was relatively straightforward for how terrible of a game it was. Huh. They had the honesty to be straightforward. Yeah, that, that game was horrific. There's a certain nobility in how straightforward <laughs> it was. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's silly. All right, let's get the scissors. Uh, you know, I think we're going to get the scissors on the next episode. So no, nice no, can we just update the Ghostopedia? So they know? So they can understand the fruits of the labor of having to listen to me make fun of you for trying to beat that boss? All right, you found a pair of scissors at the nursery. All right, right thanks for watching the video. No, but that's not the Ghostopedia. There needs to be a payoff for this episode. Oh my god. Tony, do everything. Do everything. Okay, look, there's- It's Scissor Phantom. Uh, which is my nickname back in high school. High school principal who's driven mad by grief over his deceased baby. Later in life, he adopted a doll to replace his child, which he protects even in death. He can be seen guarding a secret room turned nursery. A place he designed to be safe for his baby from the threat of a, a Kunitolanak. An entity he believed to be responsible for his child's death. Oh my god, so we were able to figure that just from killing it. <laughs> and then we like ate its ectoplasm and gained its <laughs> memories or some shit. Uh, if you want to eat our ectoplasm and gain our memories, <laughs> join us for the next episode of Press A to Gate. Thanks Jesus for watching. Christ, if Tony. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Click on the Patreon and please donate. For, for all the years of psychological damage that I'm enacting upon my co-hosts. <laughs>